Well, this uh, green scheme is nothing new. Uh, this is a vintage clip that is doing the rounds again, Professor, uh, featuring uh, former Vice President uh, Al Gore. Uh, this is when he was only 34 years old. He was already in politics and making grim predictions about what was going to happen in the near future. The CBS report from 1982 predicted widespread disruption of agriculture and 25% of Florida ending up underwater due to the burning of coal and oil. Professor, no matter how catastrophically wrong these doomsayers are, they keep getting a platform, keep setting the agenda, keep making the policies. That's more than 30 years ago and there seems to be no accountability whatsoever for these predictions that are never eventuate, never even come close to eventuating. Well, this is perfect for Gore. He's become a climate multi-billionaire. He's made a fortune out of frightening people with us. And he also owns waterside property. He lives in one. So if he was really serious, he'd go and live in the mountains. He's not. So he's <laughs> the leader of the green scam. Um, he looked um, very young and youthful in that clip. Uh, he's now a little bit older <laughs> and a multi-billionaire. He can have a facelift. He can do anything because he has been scaring the world for decades. People have bought uh, the Kool-Aid and people are struggling, perhaps mainly due to gore. So he's like so many of the other people predicting the end of the world. And I suggest that when they come and knock on your door and tell you you've got to live a poor life and you've got to give up your life to save the planet, I think you sool the dog onto them because for 2,000 years, people have been <laughs> predicting the end of the world and they've never got it right. So why should Gore be right? And history has shown in the 40-odd years since that clip, history has shown that those people who cry wolf, who try to scare us witless, always get it wrong. And uh, he has been richly rewarded, as, as you mentioned. Uh, he even won an Oscar for the scaremongering. Uh, so it's been very well, good for acting. him indeed, Ian Plymouth. Mm. He was acting. <laughs> Thank you for your time.